What's happening to me? My heart's pounding. My hands are sweaty. It's just a date. Why can't I relax? <sighs> Poor Brandon. It's been a while since he last went on a date, and right now his body's releasing adrenaline, triggering his sympathetic nervous system and causing him to have increased heartbeat, upset stomach, and muscle tension. His body is preparing him for an important choice. Man up and go meet his date, or drive home and cry to his mom about how the pretty girl scared him away. It's okay. It's just a date. She's probably just as nervous as you are. You'll be fine. You got this. Hello. Do you have a reservation for tonight? Um, I don't know. I'm supposed to meet this girl here. Um, Jessica. Um, she doesn't seem to have arrived yet, but let me show you your seat and you can take a moment and relax. Okay, thank you. Right this way. Now, dopamine, a neurotransmitter, is starting to be released. Dopamine, like most neurotransmitters, is stored in neurons. When we see something pleasant, the cell releases dopamine into the space between cells known as the synapse. On the other side of the gap is another cell ready to receive the dopamine. Dopamine binds to these receptors like a locking key. When the cells receive the dopamine, brain will experience pleasure. However, the number of receptors is limited, and the dopamine that fills the synapse has to be recycled back into the cell. I knew I should have put on deodorant yesterday. Oh my god. That's oh. She probably won't even notice. The release of dopamine is causing Brandon to feel happy and motivated. However, the flood of dopamine has begun to suppress his judgment and fear levels. The amygdala controls fear and is nearly shut down with the overproduction of dopamine. Meanwhile, the frontal cortex, which is vital to judgment, begins to dull as well. Although this is meant to increase chances of reproduction, poor Brandon here is only damaging his chances. Hi, are you Brandon? Yeah, Jessica, right? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice. Um, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Sorry. No, it's fine. I'm nervous. You don't got much, do you? Uh, no, I mean, well, not a lot, but not with, I mean, the like, girls. I mean, well, I mean, not with, like, pretty girls. I mean, not that I didn't think you'd be pretty, but that, because you're not ugly, you're pretty, you're pretty kind of, act, um... Hi, can I get you guys Hi. something to drink? Um, I'll just have a water. Yeah. Do you guys have Shirley Temples here? Um, sure, no problem. Thank you. I'll be right back. Thank you. That. So you play any sports? Um, no, but I am the president of the Mathletes. What about you? Um, I like to play volleyball sometimes. Oh, my mom uh, plays volleyball. Not that you remind me of my mom. Oh. What about... You smell nice. Thanks. I mean, it couldn't have been me, because I didn't shower today. Brandon doesn't stand a chance. An excessive amount of dopamine, norepinephrine, and adrenaline had made him nervous. But without serotonin to inhibit stress responses and GABA to calm him, he surely feels he will be on the verge of a panic attack. To make things worse, he will not be able to forget this day either. His brain is in memory overdrive. The neurotransmitter norepinephrine is increasing his memory capacity. For a while, he won't be able to remember anything other than the way she looked, smiled, and unfortunately the way he admitted not to showering. Oh, that's my phone. I didn't hear anything. It's one of those ringtones that only certain people can hear. Oh, right. I heard about that. Yeah. Hold on. Hello? Is everything all right? Yeah, I'll be there in like a couple minutes. No problem. Yep, bye. Is everything all right? I got all? it. Okay. No. No. Um, my friend, she's like really sick, so I really gotta go. Oh, uh, we, were, we were having a good time. We just yeah. really starting to get to know each other. Well, I have to go, so... But I don't even have your number. Uh, I'll write it down for you real quick. Thank you. Yes. 